Hey everyone, and welcome back to Lazy Cat Reactions. As you can tell from the title, this is titled One Day. When Amy is hired to do a horse clinic with a group of inmates, Ty is surprised to discover one of them is a friend from his days at the group home. So that's going to be interesting, you know, it's going to be nice to see her working with some inmates who are wanting to improve. I know that, that they do things like that for inmates, you know, to give them a chance to rehabilitate them and everything. And I think that that's really good, you know. And it says one of them is a friend from his days at the group home, and I'm thinking, so Ty is probably going to be talking to this person to find out, you know, what they did, why they're in, etc., etc. As we saw in the last episode, Val bought the property that Caleb and Ashley are on. She said she bought everything. So I think that's going to create a bit of friction. But at the same time, I think it's also going to be a good thing because, you know, she said she's not going to kick them out. So they might be able to take advantage of that and maybe get things, get improvements and stuff done that they might not normally be able to get done because the landlady is the mother of one of the tenants. Let's get started. Oh, what a beautiful gray dapple, or dapple gray, I guess. Beauty. who, you know, obviously not the real hardened ones, like the murderers or anything, but they were kind of in charge of taking care of the cats. So, you know, someone would be in charge of feeding and litter and stuff like that. And they really embraced it, and they really did a good job. You know, they, they loved seeing the cat. I mean, it was kind of their reward for good behavior was to help take care of the cat. And so, you know, you saw them kind of change. They woke up every day. They knew that they had a responsibility, you know, even if it was the guy, I think, who had to, like, clean up the litter box or something, I think he still enjoyed it because it gave him a sense of purpose. It was a job that he had to do. And, you know, so, yeah, they'd be rewarded, the cat would walk around, they'd, you know, they'd pet it and everything. There was, like, this one kind of hardened guy who was like, I don't like cats. 
And then one day they saw him kind of go over and scritch the cat's head. And it's like, yeah, you're, you don't like him, sure. Um, and I just thought, you know, that's really cool that they are doing that. You know, this cat is kind of giving them a chance to soften a bit and, yeah, have a responsibility. Because, you know, I think sometimes with them, um, whatever's going on, <coughs> they feel like, like this guy, like they're a loser and that they can't, you know, that they can't ever really improve. And then like having this cat or having him work with the horses, it's going to show him that, yeah, you can improve. That's what I'm saying. Like he has a right to try and improve himself. Now he may not think so, but he does. He has a right to improve himself. He has a right to become a better person. And by the end of the episode, of course, that's what. It's so we want to force him into something that he doesn't want to do. I think I know Joe pretty well. Can we just try and get small, please? Why is this so funny? Because it could have been in time. I owe Joe a few favors. <laughs> there we go, guys. one who said that he would balloon up by a water, like a watermelon. Apparently Badger didn't know that he was allergic. So now, of course, we're going to have this whole thing. I think he's going to stick around, though. Like I said, I like how Jack was um, trying to scan his art and everything, how he was complimenting Badger, saying it was not half bad. And that's the thing with Jack, is, you know, if they bring the... the probation kids there, he is willing to work with them and encourage them to do stuff they like. I mean, look what happened with Ty. And, uh, you know, Ty has become kind of like a son to him, pretty much. I mean, Tim even said that in season three. You know, he said, he said, you love him. And it's like, yeah, he does. He, Ty has become a part of the family. I think Badger possibly could too, you know. <laughs> Mallory, I was just about to have some tea. Why don't you join me? I didn't mean to interrupt. No, don't be silly. Sit down. Try the tea with some of my honey. The only thing better is my jam. <laughs> Jake had that EpiPen and that he used on Badger. Kind of makes me think that maybe now they're going to develop a little bit of a friendship there. Um, the sad thing is when you do have severe allergies, you have to carry one with you. I had a coworker who had to carry an EpiPen. I also had a coworker who was supposed to be allergic to like 42 of 44 allergens or something, but I never saw anything was really good at maintaining. But yeah, I mean, allergies of course can suck when they are a matter of life and death. Are you feeling okay? Now that you, you know, had shit and threw up? Pets. <laughs> I 
person was just over there reading. Oh. <laughs> like, sometimes I got that. I had a girl back in Calgary. She was pretty when I got arrested. Mm. I like that Jake and Badger kind of came to a little bit of a agreement, maybe not necessarily like a friendship or something, but obviously, you know, Jake saved him by giving him the EpiPen. And I said, like how he says, well, what happens if you get stung? And he pulls out the other. And I thought, that's a good idea, you know? And just you get up in the morning, you get ready, you take your EpiPen, and <laughs> like how he's like, two boots, two EpiPen. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have that in my boot, though, because it would probably, you know, bang against your skin. But maybe not. Maybe he has like a strap. He could probably put like a strap in the boot that would fit the pen. But, you know, Badger's talking about the best guy won, and I'm thinking, no, not necessarily. And besides, it doesn't mean that Jake wants her now. He might like being with Jamie and want to continue being with Jamie. So it doesn't mean anything, really. You know, I mean, I know he liked Mallory at first, but it's kind of been, you know, moving on a bit, which, of course, makes sense. You're going to eventually. <laughs> All the bears. Yeah. Good job, Caleb. One more thing. Just get that ugly granny-looking fountain out of my yard. <laughs> I like the fountain. I think it adds. Sugarfoot in this, but I didn't realize Mrs. Bell had berries and a and beads or whatever, you know. It's kind of funny on these shows that you have people who do certain things. You'll see them you'll see them do these things in an episode and then like you never see it again. And it kind of makes you wonder, did they continue to do this? Did they stop doing it? makes me think like of uh, Friends when Monica decided to take tap dancing. It was only in that one episode and we never heard or anything about it. Now maybe she decided it wasn't for her. But, you know, it just made me wonder like what if Monica continued to go to tap class? Couldn't they have, you know, she was heading out, say like, you know, oh, I'm heading to tap class or something and Chandler say, okay, see ya. It's just, so, with some, it happens with a lot of shows, you know, where they start something and then they never really, like, follow up with it. But I do like how Jack enrolled Badger, or almost enrolled him in the school. Jack liked Badger. I mean, he mentioned about the hard work and it sounds like maybe Badger wasn't necessarily the best worker. But, you know, he said, yeah, you do, you do. So I, I hope we'll see Badger again. I should look up whether we, whether we do. Maybe that's the end for him. I don't know. You know, it's with some of these episodes or some of these seasons, granted, of course, there are so many. So there are so many new people that we're going to meet. But one thing that I've noticed is that sometimes... You'll see him, and then they'll go away, and then you'll see him again. 
Uh, I did notice that Megan Follows, who plays Ty's mother, has done a total of like nine episodes. Now, of course, maybe she'll be back in season 16. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, she's done a total of like nine episodes. And so we saw her in the two-parter in season three. Uh, and so you never know. She might appear this season, next season. My guess is that we'll probably see her in the episode where Ty and Megan get married, probably. But, you know, that wasn't just kind of a one-off. She ended up returning every so often. And it does kind of make you wonder, when they sign a contract like that, how that works. Like, if they're signing a contract thinking that they're just going to be doing, like, one or two episodes, and then they get called later. Or if, when they go to sign their contract, they know it could be a recurring role. My guess is that there are some who know that it's a one-off. But some might, when they sign a contract, know that there's a possibility that you could see them again, like Badger. You know, we first saw him in season two, and then we see him again in season three, and then, of course, he had this stint here in season four, and hopefully comes back. So, you know, it does kind of make you wonder, are we, when the, the kid signed his contract for season two, did it say that he may continue? And then for the actress who played Tara, will she continue? Will we see her again? Or was she specifically a one-off? Or maybe they signed the kid for Badger as the one-off. The audience liked him, and so they brought him back. That does happen, too, sometimes, you know? Where someone's just in for one or two episodes, the audience really likes them, and they bring them back. So it's nice when they can do that. So it does kind of make you wonder with some of this, you know, do they sometimes sign a contract knowing that they're going to go on for more episodes or do they maybe sign like a one or two deal and then come back later and it's nice when they're available because you know some of them might move on to do other things and then all of a sudden get a call so it's nice that they kind of are able to still kind of work in their schedule so i'll be starting episode nine here shortly and then of course we'll be halfway through season four of course it's great to get any episode done. As I've said, basically from the beginning, I am enjoying the show so much. I'm glad that I have decided to do it. If you are enjoying this, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. If you're watching this on YouTube because you have changed your VPN, thank you very much. Hit that notification bell to be alerted of future reacts. And head on over to Rumble, where you don't have to worry about changing your VPN, and you can catch these videos there. If you are watching this on Rumble, you may want to head over to YouTube just to get the numbers up there. But again, change your VPN. Instagram and TikTok are two of the social media platforms that you can find me, so head over there and subscribe. On TikTok, I post clips from my reactions. I post that for... Instagram as well, along with other things. Please be alert of what's going to happen here in the future. I've got a lot more coming down the pipeline, and I hope you will stick around for it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.